Hi everyone, and welcome back to our interview series, Study Italian Work. Today we're going to be speaking to Cal State University Long Beach Professor Giulia Togato about Italian and a career in the translation services. Professor Togato studied translation and interpreting at the Universities of Forlì in Italy and the University of Granada in Spain. She obtained her PhD in Neuroscientific and Cognitive Translatology from the University of Granada. She has been working as an in-house and freelance translator for the last 15 years, where she translates from English, Italian, and French into Spanish. Professor Togato currently teaches translation within the minor in translation offered by the Donato Center at Cal State Long Beach and conducts psycholinguistic research on translation and bilingualism in her laboratory at the Romance German Russian Languages and Literatures Department at Cal State University Long Beach. Welcome, Professor Togato, and thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you very much to Fondazione Italia for having me today. I'm really excited for this interview, but before we begin, let me know, so how did you get interested in studying Italian? I'm a native speaker of Italian, so learning Italian was part of my personal growth within the context of my native culture. However, I did study Italian in school and that helped me to more thoroughly understand how my language works. By formally studying Italian, I understood how to approach the learning process of a second, third, and fourth language, since the study of the first language uh, will always allow you to generalize some knowledge that would be useful to study other languages. What was your educational and career journey that led you to a career in translation? I always loved translation since I was a teenager. I remember that I would spend hours and all my free time translating songs from a foreign language, so English, Spanish, and French, into Italian. That was my hobby that I later transformed into my career. Even before that, I already studied languages, although you know, not directly translation. I started to learn English when I was six, Latin and French when I was 14, and Spanish when I was 16. Then I completed the Liceo, with a specialization in languages, then my BA and MA in translation and interpreting. That's really great that you started or turned your hobby into a career. I know that when I was learning Italian as a teenager, listening to songs was definitely one of the ways that I started. I just, you know, I just sat there and I would translate all the Beatles songs and, you know, yeah. It's a great way to learn the, the language and accents and, uh, and everything. So um, I completely related to you when you said that. Um, so, so in a career in translation, what services fall under the umbrella of translation? Translation is mainly divided into main fields, written translation of texts and oral translation of speech. However, there are many different things that can be done within each field. So for example, regarding written translation, one might prefer to translate books, other people's subtitles or movies or web pages, while other people, professionals, prefer to translate oral speech at conferences, for example, or hospitals or schools or legal settings and so on. So the field of translation is quite wide and it includes many different job profiles. So if I'm a student and I'm interested in a career in translation, what are some of the steps to becoming a certified translator? Of course, the first step towards a career in professional translation would be to get certified by a reliable university institution. Translation is the perfect complement um, for your main minor or major in Italian studies. So you really need to have a deep knowledge of the Italian language that would be uh, the first requirement to become a successful translator in, in, in Italian and, and then to get certified in translation. So those are complementary uh, elements of your career as a translator. Here at Cold State Long Beach, we offer a minor in translation studies and soon we'll be offering a postgraduate certificate um, to our students. After an official certification is gathered in Italian, so your minor or major, and in translation through your minor, for example, 
it would be uh, also good to get certified uh, by some well-known and reliable association of professional translators, such as the ATA, the American Translators Association. What are the, some of the challenges in your experience that a student wishing to become a translator may face? As in every professional field, there are challenges in the field of translation, but nothing that cannot be uh, overcome through patience, training, and hard work. Overall, students wishing to become an Italian translator need to gather a deep and comprehensive understanding of the Italian culture, something that is more easily acquired through uh, immersion experiences in the culture uh, you're interested in. So in this case, it would be Italian. Although it would be better to spend some time in Italy, it is possible to recreate immersion experiences into one's country through music, movies, conversations with, with, with your peers, with your colleagues, friends, and so on. So what are some of your best experiences as an Italian translator that you have had that you can share with us? I really enjoyed working as an interpreter between the Spanish and the Italian language. I had the pleasure to interpret at many political events based on the collaboration between um, Italian and Spanish political organization. And I was able to travel very much between Italy and Spain and to meet uh, many people. And some of them are still uh, very good friends of mine. That sounds like a fantastic experience. Are there any tips you can give to a student wishing to find a job in translation after they've been certified? Yes, now actually it's the right moment in the US to pursue a career in translation. There is a huge need for translators and the market uh, is projected to, to grow in the future. So um, official training in professional translation is a must right now for those people who are interested in a career in translation, having Italian as their main language. And uh, just, um, it's important to remember that being bilingual is not enough to be a professional translator. They are two very different things. So my tip is to get certified as soon as possible, start your activity on the market um, as a professional translator through an internship and work not just on your uh, translation skills, but also on your soft skills because are particular, they are particularly needed in, in translation. It's a field in which um, soft skills uh, um, together with uh, your knowledge of the Italian language and uh, um, your expertise in translation practice are really relevant. And what are soft skills? Soft skills are, um, you know, all that skills that you would display uh, to, show, to show your um, professionality in a specific field. So for example, communication technique, uh, sometimes negotiation, negotiation techniques or persu persuasion techniques and so on. You just mentioned the possibility of an internship. Can you talk a little bit more about how a student can get an internship in translation? Yes, of course, you should check at your, you know, at the university of your choice if they have available uh, some kind of internship in our case here uh, at Cold State Long Beach, we do have um, um, internships available to our students and actually we are growing uh, that availability more and more. Um, the initial step would be to check, uh, you know, before starting um, your studies in a specific university to check if an internship program is available. Um, also, um, here at Cold State Long Beach, we have, uh, we provide opportunities to have internships online. So that's particularly convenient since you will not need to physically move uh, to the place where your internship is. Julia, thank you so much for taking the time out of what I know is a very busy schedule for you to speak to us today. Thank you very much for having me, Fondazione Italia. Grazie, ciao. Ciao. ciao.